thought I'd show you my current project here. The uh, pole is for a Martin house. If you notice these big knobs I've welded on, those are going to be down in concrete, and I figure that'll keep it from pulling out and uh, make it good and solid. The, I treated this with a rust uh, converter. I then painted it black. The pole itself above the ground is going to be about 17 feet. They'll be about 3 feet in the ground, so it's just about 20 feet long. I'm making the perches right now. I called it perch. That's not really the right term. It's the thing to hang the houses on. This piece of pipe here is just big enough to slide over the other pole. So it's going to slide up and down the pole. And then the, there's six of these bars welded on right here. And uh, there will be houses hanging on those. I'm putting six more above right up here, so there'll be 12 houses hanging on this one rack. And then I staggered them so that this one will kind of hang between the bottom two, and the one here will hang between these two bottom two. So anyway, the bottom line is uh, I got a lot of welding to do. I, uh, I marked out where they need to go, and uh, I'm just kind of lining them up by eye and getting them as close as I can and leveling them up and things. But they're not perfect. They don't need to be. They're birdhouses. It's going to work out really fine. I'll show you as I make more progress. thought I'd show you my little jig for welding this up. I just had that 4x4 four four block right there with a little thin piece of wood on top. It's just a spacer just to make it work out to the length of the pole. And uh, you can see there I have an angle uh, magnet right there. It holds that rod coming out that will eventually hold a house. Now I can weld it right there at that joint. And so that's what I'll do now. I'll film this first welding, but uh, I'm not going to film the welding uh, because I don't want to burn my camera up for one thing because I've, I've had that happen already. I'm going to film it from a distance here so that the sparks don't hit my camera. Once you get it tacked, you can get rid of this and get it out of your way. And then I can turn it a little bit and get to the back side. I'm using my little uh, titanium 140 MIG welder from Harbor Freight and it is just a wonderful little welder. works really really well and what I do is I sight down them and I make sure the two opposite are in line with each other and that's really all it amounts to and then I just weld them in place. Maybe you can see that the spider, th white spider thing is where all the houses are going to hang. I've got this cable run through here and this hand crank right here and that's how I'll raise and lower it. I don't want to put the houses on it, of course, until I get it stood up, and then I'll lower it down and put the houses on. Wow, it's very heavy. I don't know that I can get it out of here by myself. Well, I've got my gourds here. That These are all, you know, obviously plastic gourds. And uh, these have the Starling resistant entrance in here. And these are the Troyer gourds, Troyer vertical gourds. And... Uh, I take it back. I don't think these are the vertical. These are the uh, horizontal, but it, the instructions that came with them say vertical, but these are the horizontal ones. They go, they're much deeper. 
and I got the so I got the deep ones because that way the hawks and things can't get through here to get to them. Plus, this smaller opening keeps the hawks out and stuff. Supposedly, the the, Mar the Martins will use this type of opening. This is my first year using this particular opening. They like the round opening. I know that for sure. But anyway, I'm putting these together. This one is finished. Here's how they come. Um, actually, they don't even come with the lid on it. They come like this. This is a clean out lid area. And this has to be fitted on here. And there's actually a little uh, ramp on the inside that spans. Um, I don't know. When you see, you can see how this overlaps that. Well, that overlap there leaves a, a bump. This puts a little ramp over that bump and makes it where it's smooth all the way into the inside. Plus, it locks these two pieces together. So that's the main purpose of it is to lock them together. But that little ramp, I guess, makes it a little easier to get in and out too. And I don't know that you can see down in there, but anyway, that little ramp is in there now. And where I pushed it together, this little plug came out. And what I do is I take and I grab a hold of that plug and I pull it a little bit more to get just to to get a little more of that plug through there. <laughs> then the upper hole up here has just a small plug like this. And we'll put that plug in this upper hole. And with my sore hands, I can't push that in anymore. So I'm just tapping them in like that. I, my thumbs and my fingers just are killing me, so I can't do that. But Well, I was able to slide it around and then force it under there, so now the ramp is correct. When you come in, you're right on top of the ramp and it goes you back, takes you back through that hole without any uh, thing in the way. So that one's done. These will all hang uh, from my pole through this hole right here. And uh, you'll see how that all works in a minute. I got the pole standing up. I didn't take any footage of me setting the pole in place because it was just too hectic. I did it with the Bobcat uh, and helped with my wife, from my wife, I should say. But it was a real tedious process and I just didn't feel like messing with the camera, to be truthful. And there's another one. So that's the way all 12 of them go together. And then I'll show you installing them on the pole. Well, my friends, I have finally got this new pole and house is all finished. I uh, just went out to the National Forest moments ago, collected a bunch of pine needles, um, dry pine needles, that, and I put a, a, a good heavy handful in each one, each gourd. And um, anyway, uh, and then I kind of mashed that down to make it kind of like a nest. They, they prefer a starting nest. They don't have to have it, but it's, it doesn't hurt anything. Anyway, I've got them all set up and ready to go. I thought I'd show you how this thing lifts itself up. Well, how I lift it up with the help of a winch. And when it hits that stop up there, I just quit cranking and everything should be stationary. The houses should always remain in the same place because the cable guides them up. In other words, they won't rotate so that the birds can always find their house back. And I think I'm finished with that. There is room to put yet one more layer between those two uh, layers in case I need more houses down the road. But uh, for right now, that's gonna do me. That pole is in uh, concrete, so it should be solid. It's down three feet deep in the concrete. So I hope you enjoyed a look at how I uh, try to attract purple martins here to the farm. We had them last year, and they were, of course, in that house. I still have to clean that one out yet and uh, clean out the gourds. They were only in the gourds, by the way. They weren't actually in the house. So um, I will clean out those gourds and the, the house, too, just in case they build in the house. Um, it's always possible, but uh, they do love those gourds. Thanks so much for watching. Please tell your friends, and I would sure appreciate it if you'd click the like button. 
We'll see you next time. Thank you.